Okay, so this is like an impromptu kind of thing because this is an important subject and it's an important one to be able to look at. Look, it's learning how to act like you don't care. You know, th this is an element that actually can help your acting incredibly, incredibly. Uh, I just finished doing some work here and there. And look, I've got some a list of reasons that come to the door. And you've got to be able to get the reason, right? Of course, you need to be able to get the reason. And later in the work, of course, you're working with emotional preparation. And you can work with the emotions lists that I have. And you can add those emotions, of course, of course. And you get those emotions and you find the deep meaning. You go beyond the feelings and you go beyond the, the deep feelings and you go into the emotion. And you get this emotion and you activate it. Oh, until your heart's desire, it's just absolutely in you. And then what? And then you've got to learn the craft of acting is learning not to care. That's exactly what I'm telling you is the absolute truth. It's the truth. You want to do all that work, not to throw it away, but to be able to then act like you don't care about it because you want to be able to be loose enough to be able to receive your acting partner. So I suggest put all that initial gumption that you've put into your work, all of that rich emotional life that you've got, and you put it right into the knock. The first knock, just put it right in the knock and then see how that affects you. And then just acting is learning not to care. Then after that, just let the moments go. See how it goes. And when you do this, what's going to happen is it's like you're pushing yourself off of some kind of slide. It's all of a sudden, you know, going down this like, you know, um, 300, 400 foot slide. Well, all of a sudden, on your roller coaster, you just go over the top and you're just like flying down because you're into an experience. See, you can trust at that point that you've activated yourself because you know that you've activated something. And you can trust that what you've activated is actually now part of your interaction. So now you've got the, the ability to be able to interact in acting because you know that you've successfully been able to activate yourself. So you've self-activated your emotion. And you're not just self-activating a feeling. You're not just uh, self-activating an instinct or some sort of suspicion. You're, you're, you're actually activating an emotion. That's why it's called emotional preparation. There are links in that description that you could actually use to improve your acting. You can help to, it can help you to improve your creativity. So there are, are um, independent activities, there are reasons at the door, there's lists of programs, there's um, lists of emotions, there's programs that you can do, and there's also ways that you can actually contact me for private coaching. So listen, please do yourself a favor and check that out, you know, right down there in the description box. Is it with emotions? So, look, you want to be able to do acting to your absolute best, your absolute best. You want to be able to get your talent acting and working for you. Now, if you want to work and have your talent work for you, that doesn't mean that you're working your talent necessarily every single moment of the scene. There's things that are going to have to happen. And if there's going to be things have to happen in your acting, it means you have to have this a lucid response. You've got to be able to find your relaxation. So I tell people, I say, look, get yourself wound up emotionally, put it into the knock, then receive your partner. Then if you get into the acting exercise, then just completely relax. See what happens. See what happens. See, you put yourself into a place where you've relaxed. All of a sudden, you relax deeper, and all of a sudden your emotional preparation comes back. All of a sudden, the interaction with your partner is there even stronger because now we're actually as an audience watching what's called an imaginary circumstance or an imaginary condition. You put yourself into this imaginary condition. You put yourself into this circumstance. The imagination is, is now being lived out by impulse to impulse and that's an element that takes relaxation. You see, what, what you're learning to do is not care. You're learning to be able to let go of yourself so that you don't care. But the truth is, you care. 
But the reality is that you're learning talent. The talent of being able to activate something that you do care about and then be able to have that be reactivated through the interaction of acting. Because acting, by the way, is interaction. Acting is activation first, which is the being side of the work, and then it's activation, it's interaction, which is the doing side of the work. Now, if you want, you could do the exercises. I've seen many of them where people only work at the doing side of the work and they don't work with the activation, but it's not going to give you the same results. And this is why this is so key. So listen, I had a lot of fun doing this stuff. Please make a comment, boop the like button, um, and, and let me know what it is that you need to learn. Because I'll tell you, if you can get the knack, the knack of this, you know, the knack of this is very, 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 very important. When you can get the knack of being able to put what you care about into a lucid state, where you're in a state where you don't exactly know what the outcome's gonna be, but you know it matters to you, but at the same time, you're loose enough to receive what is actually the reality also. Then all of a sudden, you're working your talent every single class, every single time, every single, every time, every time you act, you're working your talent. It's incredible, it's incredible how this works. Okay, one last thing here. There's, there's, there's three. There's three small notes here. Now, learning not to care is permissioning yourself to have the experience. Whatever it is, you want to permission yourself to have the experience. So, as much as you work hard on your emotional preparations, you still want to be able to have the greater experience of whatever the experience is. And this is absolutely key in acting. Any, any platform, it, whether you're in a classroom, in, in exercise, whether you're rehearsing, or whether you're actually working in film, theater, whatever it is. Sorry, number two is learning to care. No, sorry, learning not to care is the art form of living truthfully in the imaginary. Now, I'm going to say that one more time. Learning not to care is the art form of living truthfully in the imaginary. See, it is the art form of relaxation of the actor that puts them in this ability to be able to be responsive under imaginary conditions, which is absolutely key. Number three and last one is learning not to care is finding your own freedom within acting. Learning not to care is finding your freedom within acting. Okay, so I teach people how to get upset. I have a lot of fun teaching people how to literally purposefully upset themselves, actually waking their own activations up so that they're emotionally activated. There's something that they can get upset about within a ballpark of emotion. But the key, the absolute key, is I don't want you to carry around that stuff in your life. That's what's called acting baggage. You want to be able to learn a technique. I have to be able to tell you that it's, it would be a disservice for me to teach you all of these incredible techniques on how to access yourself as an artist without reminding you very nicely that you don't need your acting baggage in life. So feel free. Work on processes where you have a release time after you're doing your acting. And what this will do is it will actually amplify your work because it will give your acting muscles the break that they need in order to get the rest that they need so that your work will be even stronger. Okay, thanks very much.